and skateboarding, there's a lot of unspoken rules, like rules that people wouldn't even have guessed or you probably don't even know. I'm gonna be talking about five unspoken rules that I've came across during my 14 years of skateboarding. Number one is when you're filming a video part, you kind of don't want to do something that's already been done because a video part is kind of like a, what you can do. You want to impress people like, oh, this has never been done. You want to capture the attention of all the skaters around you. You just want to impress, you know what I mean? It's your video part. It shows what you can do. So obviously rule number one is ABD. Don't do an ABD for your video part. Oh, hey, Ivan. Dude, so I got a, a trick I want to film for my part. It's a backside people, this rail right here. What do you think? Would it be cool for my part? That's ABD. What do you mean? Who did it? I did. Oh, shit. I did it for the Give It Your All video. Fuck. Yeah. What do you know? I don't know, but you can't do that. I already did that. I guess I'll laser flip back Smith it. So I've been giving it some thought for a part song and what do you think about this? Can I use this? No, Louis Barletta used it for Bag of Suck. You know, yeah. I, I, I guess I'll keep looking, dang. So that ties in with rule number two. You can't use a song that's already been done before because when you hear that song, you think of the skater that skated to it. And so when you pick the same song, people are gonna automatically think, like in this example, Louis Barletta. So it's kind of a, another ABD you should try to stay, stray away from. So pick a song that you like and make sure it's not been used. Hey, is it cool if I skate the flat bar with you? Sorry, bro. I'm actually filming a clip for my video part, so I was here first. And... Oh, okay. So there's no way I could, like, set shit with you? Uh, well, I mean, I came all the way down from Amsterdam, and I really don't want to, you know, risk being getting the boot. You know, there's two of us. There's going to be more... Uh, more attention on us, so I, I'd prefer that I just get the clip, you know. Oh, okay. I guess I'll yeah. just, I guess I'll just sit down by the bench and wait for you to land it. Yeah, you, yeah. Sit back. Number three is you want to respect a skater whenever you show up at a skate spot. In this case, I show up to a flat bar spot, and Ivan's already skating in. He's filming for his video part. You know, there's a lot of factors when it comes to filming for a video part. Spots could be high risk, which means you have a little bit of time to get your trick and you want to respect the skater and let him try to get his trick before they either get kicked out or you don't want to distract him and make the skater frustrated so you just want to wait it, wait it out or go somewhere else and come back later. Respect the skater, you know what I mean? Hey, that's ABD! What do you mean? Already been done! Really? Yeah! Hey, what the fuck you doing? What do you mean? I was trying that. Oh, I thought you were doing like gazelle flip. The fuck you mean? That's right, bitch. My territory. Fuck. <laughs> another unspoken rule, rule number four, is that you don't steal another person's trick, especially when they're in the middle of trying to do it. So if you're at a spot, you see someone trying to trick, it's best if you don't try to do that trick. If it looks somewhat the same, it's good to give an explanation of what, what you're trying to do, a variation of the trick, but it's disrespectful if you're trying someone else's trick. You know, it's kind of like saying, hey, I'm better than you, you know? Simple terms. You know, skateboarding should be free. Yeah, anybody can do it. But if you see someone trying to trick for hours, a frontside flip, an only backside flip down a stair set, and you go there, 
and you see them trying it and you do it first try, and that's just like a spit in someone's face. You know, that's that's pretty disrespectful. So unspoken rule number four, don't try someone else's trick. Hey Ivan, I heard that you did Nolly lay flip off the six. Yeah, I did. First yeah? try. First try? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Um if it was first try, that means that you fucking got it off this right now first try then. Mm, I don't know about that, but it's just a good day. I was feeling it, you know? And, Did uh, anyone film it? No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So you're one of those guys. What do you mean? Didn't happen. What do you mean it didn't happen? I did it. Well, where's everyone at? The park's empty? You said people saw it, so <laughs> when'd you do this? You know, like when Tom Penny did the kickflip down to 14 and nobody, you know, saw it? It's like that type of shit. You know? <laughs> what the? I did it first try. You know, I was feeling it. I had a good day and I was just saying, I'll do it. Dolly late flip and I did it. Felt like P Rod, you know, I watched a few of his parts. Went, came to the part, did it first try. You want to give it one go off the six? Good, dude. My knees are right. Weather, it's kind of cold. All right, and the, the last one, number five, is if you didn't film it and you go bragging about it and just tell people and no one saw it and you're the only one that kind of saw it, it didn't happen. And you don't want to be that guy that's lying to people because that's like a poser type thing. And posers are hated among the skate community, so just don't lie. And I hope these unspoken rules helped you. If you want to know more, Leave a comment with your unspoken rules. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about what you guys think is an unspoken rule. But that's what we think some are. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And we're going to have a sesh now. Uh, I got a story that'll waggle your eyes. I got a burger and a thingy of fries. I think we disguise our lives when we speak, but we show it with what we eat. We defeat eternal demons with heaps of internal shitty meat. Ronald had a dream when he was sucking his mom's titty. He wanted to palm cities, rocking his fall hoodie in this heat. Nah, man, he ain't no clown. He don't need another guardian to hold the fucking place down. Ronald, I never got to say thank you. If you at a KFC, I never meant to hurt you I tore down a thousand Burger Kings for talking shit Have them lost for words on some Stephen Hawking shit This cancer's got these little kids biting lips If burgers kill, then fuck it, I'm gonna die from it I'll fucking die for you, Ronald, I hope you understand Avoid beef and I'm taking your ass to Pakistan See, Ronald and McDonald would have to run a bottle shop Ronald would unload a couple shots on these fucking cops See, McDonald's is the finest China quality That make your legs wobble a lava lamp Holding Socrates is less postmodern than Ronald Cause in a thousand years you and I'll be gone But the patties keep flipping The chicken is still delicious The living expense is limitless So why the fuck you eating salad, bitch? See, back in 48 was when I heard of this magic place When the atom bomb crushed a small country in its natural state Rebuild itself into a fine Little real estate and real in any American change with exceptional taste. But 